the final question is, because you do all this palletization and the automation and all of this stuff right now, what machine group do you get the most like opportunities on? Is it still three axis verticals, horizontals, or is five axis now? We just had a great conversation about that. Is five axis starting to emerge and like grow to your automating them more? Where what's the balance like for you? And that's a that's a fantastic question. Um, so I would say five year, and I've I've been working on the pallet side of of DN's world for the last eight eight and a half years. Five years ago, I would have said it's mainly horizontals, right? It's it's mainly horizontals. Now, uh, the five axis world has started to, you know, if it was a race, they've started to catch up. Um, and and the reason is goes back to what I was just talking about, where um, you can hit multiple sides, you can hit angled holes, you can hit angled cuts, and then you can go around the other side of the part and never take the part out of the machine. The spindle never stops turning. Um, so that part has happened, uh, or that that has become a, a big thing. 